If you step foot in a Lutheran church, who do you expect to see there? People who look like me? Or maybe even blonder? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is it that some of my seminary classmates who happen to be black, if we would visit a church together, a Lutheran church, would often be asked if they were visitors or when did you convert to Lutheranism? When in fact often it was their families that had generations in the Lutheran faith and it's me who didn't, but I've never been asked that question, never been assumed to be an outsider. How do we wrestle with the mm -hmm. fact that our denomination has great social statements on race and equality, that we believe that God's amazing liberating good news is for all and that god's kingdom looks as diverse as the incredible variety and createdness of us and yet in the pew religious landscape survey that came out of most recently a few years ago our denomination the elca had a dubious first place win and that was that we were noted as the whitest denomination, the least ethnically diverse. Yeah. So what does that mean? Um, I have an invitation uh, to read and to discuss and to truly be challenged uh, with this book, which is called Dear Church. It's written by a fellow ELCA pastor, Lenny Duncan. It came out this summer. I know a few of you are, have already read it, and it's led to fruitful conversations. I invite you to read it. I invite you to be challenged. I invite you to start it and put it down if you have to. I invite you to let it make you a little uncomfortable and ask some of the hard questions about our assumptions and our ways that we're church um, that are culturally focused or that maybe are tough that are in here. This book is a true love letter to the church by someone who loves uh, Lutheranism loves uh, what God has done and, and is a part of it and deeply connected. And so you'll find a lot of richness and connection and maybe some uh, familiarity there if that's a part of your own story. I'd encourage you to read it even if you're not a churchgoer, but you're kind of wrestling with these questions around inclusion and welcome and racial issues um, and how we take that apart. This book helps because it makes us think about our language, about our practices and traditions, about the reasons and barriers that might be standing in the way of a wider welcome and a church expression that looks a little bit more like the kingdom of God. I am raising up this invitation particularly because I want to invite you to go with me to hear the author, Pastor Duncan, speak on September 23rd at Luther Place Church here in D.C. I'm going to go, and you're welcome to come with me. I'm going to tell you straight up that it's going to be challenging. I know that he's going to do a reading from the book, and then he has a conversation with someone. But I think it's an awesome thing to be church together and have hard conversations and to be in that space. So I invite you to come with, I know a couple others will join in and maybe we could even have conversations afterward and just hold that space for each other. So I'll have a few of the flyers up at church, I'll share the event on Facebook and I'll let you know. Now, um, I also wanna invite you or tell you about a couple other books I've been reading and if you've read them or you wanna talk about them or you want something to read, let me know. I always have some great recommendations, I hope, for you. So some things I've read this year, which I just want to share about as well, are um, Everything Happens for a Reason by, and Other Lies I've Loved by Kate Bowler, who is a woman about my age who um, writes about her recent cancer journey herself. And then uh, we have Inspired by Rachel Held Evans, which is about... Um, reading the Bible and it coming to life for you. Then a uh, Nadi Bowles Weber, another Lutheran pastor, Shameless, a sexual reformation. 
really grappling with and trying to reframe and challenge the church to a new sexual ethic. Really interesting. Next on deck for me, I'm going to be reading Barbara Brown Taylor's Holy Envy about loving faith practices out of other traditions. And this one, Brian Luther about Luther's um, marketing and how he got the word out as a brand. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, I want to invite conversation. So I challenge you to take up this one, Dear Church. You can find it anywhere books are sold. Um, and um, to have a conversation or even don't read it, but come to the book talk if you're curious or you just want to talk about it. Um, I hope that you are finding ways to be challenged and inspired, and we want to be a part of that um, as the church and as a community together. So let's read, let's talk, and let's be churched.